Welcome to Water Couch TV. Could you introduce yourself to us? Hi, uh, my name is Ramona Ramnial. I am the Vice Minister of the Ministry of Environment and Water Resources in a beautiful Caribbean territory called Trinidad and Tobago. It's the southern, southernmost located uh, Caribbean island in the Caribbean archipelago. Yes. Okay. Um, I am here at this uh, water conference in The Hague. I was uh, cordially invited by your government, true to my government, and um, it's, a, it's a very informative session that I'm you know, currently sitting in on. Um, with respect to my country, Trinidad and Tobago, and its water issues, um, we have two major challenges with respect to our water industry in Trinidad and Tobago, and one first one being that of wastewater management, and the second one being that, of course, of, well, not the availability of water, but also the uh, channels or, or grid uh, with respect to distributing water. So what happens in Trinidad and Tobago, we have a pipe one supply of water uh, with respect to about 70% of the population. We are a very small population of 1.2 million people. Um, so we have about 70% of pipe one water to, this, uh, to the population. And the other 30% are in rural areas. So um, our uh, water utility company is now in the process of expanding that grid. So we're all into water management, so, which, is, which is proving to be very challenging for the government. Um, therefore, with respect to that, one example um, is that of expanding the water grid in our country. You have the topography of our country proving to be very challenging. So in rural areas, it's very hilly, mountainous, and therefore these technologies and the capabilities of running the infrastructure for water is proven to be very challenging. However, we have partnered with a lot of international uh, agencies and other international governments who is giving us uh, the wherewithal to, to, to continue to expand our grid. With respect to wastewater management, I must say that um, Trinidad and Tobago uh, became the beneficiary of an IDB loan of 500 million US dollars just about a month ago. It was very historic. Um, it's the largest in the Western Hemisphere that our country was able to be the uh, recipient of. And that 500 million US is going to be a three-year loan on a three-phase basis where we are going to implement wastewater plants throughout Trinidad and Tobago. Um, we have in store uh, with our wastewater management to implement five wastewater plants in strategic areas that will serve huge uh, portions of the country and therefore the IDB and uh, the government of Trinidad and Tobago went into a two-year process in order to uh, qualify for the loan and to be the recipients of this loan. So it was very, very uh, successful and we are very happy as a nation to be the beneficiary to implement this wastewater uh, strategy and plan in our country. Great. That sounds good. Yes. Um, can you tell us something about uh, what you've learned so far, or some something you've picked up that really uh, strikes you? Well, t personally, I think to begin with, I have uh, taken water for granted in my country because the supply of water is readily available. As you know, tropical countries, we experience very high levels of rainfall and therefore we get the supply of water. However, um, what I have learned from my other uh, partners in other states and other countries is that, for example, the African states, it's very, very hard with respect to water availability and therefore we have a lot of our women and girls who experience hardship because they are the ones responsible for collecting water for the household and therefore we have a lot of our women and girls uh, not being educated because of it, uh, suffering from poverty because of it and having to walk at least three hours daily to get water back and forth to their homes. And I think that this is very, it's an eye opener for me. I am very distressed by even thinking about it. And I think that our country, my little island, should be able to assist in some way. So what I will be doing is I will be going to um, some of these African states and speaking to uh, their representatives and looking to see how we can assist in any way possible, you know, or any small, by any small measure that would help to alleviate their problem. I'm very, very concerned about the, women's and, the women and girls and the impact on them. Yes. Well, thank you very much for thank coming you. to us.